everyone thinks I'm crazy for doing it. Like, it's such a unique niche. And you hear about the sport and you're like, why does anyone want to go down solid ice at 80 miles per hour? My name is Austin Hayes. I am a graduate assistant coach for the cross country and track and field programs here at Mercer University. And I'm pursuing the US Olympic team for skeleton. What led me to pursue the Olympics was sophomore year of high school um, when my parents forced me against my will to start track and field. And I did not want to do it. I tried quitting multiple times. They wouldn't let me. I realized I was pretty good at it. So that kind of set me on the trajectory of having that goal of I'm going to the Olympics. After I graduated college in 2019, I took a whole year off. I didn't train, I didn't lift, run, anything. I was figuring out what I wanted to do with my life, landed on wanting to be a head track and field coach. So I applied to a lot of places, ended up here at Mercer. The head coach, Josh Heyman, found out he was having a baby, so he decided that he wanted to pursue um, an unattached track meet, and seeing him go and be competitive again, it wanted me to be competitive again. So I was like, I always want to go to the Olympics. Let me pull up olympics.org, pick out some sports, and figure out what I want to do. So the process from March to, to now has been such a whirlwind. I've gone from uh, focusing on bobsled to attending a rookie camp to switching to skeleton to winning a rookie championships to placing second at the U.S. championships to now being an American record holder. And from there it's like, all right, this is the trajectory, this is the path I'm going, skeleton it is. So I think what I love most about skeleton is the adrenaline of it all. If you look on how the International Olympic Committee describe it, plummeting head first down a treacherous ice track on a tiny sled reaching speeds up to 80 miles per hour. It is more of just an adrenaline rush than anything. Uh, it should be scary, but it's like five G-forces coming down on you. You don't even have time to think, is it scary? <laughs> it's over before you even realize you started. I truly believe the sky's the limit. You can obtain any dream you want to, but if you're not willing to make the sacrifices for it, then it's not gonna happen. So I was trying to narrow that down, what I'm willing to put the time in. I train pretty much every day. So it kind of depends on what the plan is for the week and what coach is sending me, whether or not it's a uh, explosive and it's getting stronger week, or if we're kind of dialing back and just wanting to focus on speed and quickness. A lot of pushing sleds and pulling sleds, heel runs, uh, herd of mobility, uh, single leg bounding, it's a lot of lower body work. You really want to be powerful and exploding out in those first few steps. As of now, I've had three months of actual ice experience. In January, they announced the Olympic team. I want to do everything I can in the sport. You know, I want to go to Beijing in the Olympics. I want to make the national team. I want to go to all the World Cups possible. And I want to go to 2026 Olympics and even go to the 2030 Olympics. Like, I plan on being in the sport as long as I can and go into as many Olympics as I can. And along the way, I don't want to just attend it, but I want to uh, win. And on top of that, I want to be breaking records the whole way. So I have very high hopes um, for the future.